Hello. Now when you first get your hub, just in, if it's brand new, you don't need to do this, but say if it's been in use, like this one has, as you can see I've already configured it, you'll need to reset it. To do this, there's a little reset button just next to the USB, just there. Press and hold that for about 15 seconds, awkward doing it in one hand, and the hub will restart, and we can continue. Right, the next step is open up a web browser, preferably Firefox, Chrome, yeah, it works, I guess, sometimes. So open up your preferred web browser, I'll say like that. Go to the default IP address of the BT Home Hub 5, which is 192.168.1.254. It'll with this page. Go to Advanced Settings, and it will ask you for the default password. So this will be on, well, as it says there on the little thing, let's just type that in. So once you're in the advanced settings, click continue, I don't actually think we need to be here, so click settings and you'll see admin password. Here if you want, I will do here, you can change the admin password, so say if you need to configure this remotely, once it's connected to your network, you won't need to um, go over to the device and pick up the little card of those stupid, that, that weird passwords I can never remember. So just type those in, so once you've typed in your passwords, click change password. No, go away. Now the administrator password has changed. You can now lose that little card. We won't be needing this anymore if you've done the step, which is for keep it in the router. If you do ever decide you need to restart the router again, reset, shall I say, that card will be relevant again. So go to advanced settings, continue to advanced settings, home network, IP addresses. Now here we need to change the IP address. We can't leave this at the default because your other BT home hub with your BT Infinity has the same IP address so you can't have two because they'll get confused so just change this to something like I don't know 10 this can change you can pick whatever you like so just pick for 10 once you have picked your IP address click apply are you sure yes now your web browser will fail here so we can close that so once you've closed your web browser Turn off your BT Home Hub. Turn your BT Home Hub back on. Wait for the lovely lights to settle down. Probably to that flashing orange again. And just wait. So once your BT Home Hub has the orange light and the flashing B, put its IP address in, which we specified earlier. 192.168.1.10. And you'll be greeted with your BT Home Hub web page again at the so now the hub has rebooted, go to advanced settings, put your password in you specified, if you did not, use the one off the card. Type your password in, continue to advanced settings, back to home network, IP addresses, DHCP server, we do not need this because your other BT home hub has the DHCP, and click apply. Are you sure? Yes. Now we click wireless, now here you can, if you want, just leave this as it is, it will work, I guess, but I'm going to have change mine, BT Home Hub 5 underscore slave, whatever you want, BT Home Hub 5 2, doesn't really matter, here we can specify a Wi-Fi password, I'm just going to put, obviously make it a bit more secure than that, apply, yes I don't care, except just make yours a bit more secure or you can leave it as the same and just use the one off the card. So once you're greeted back to the screen your 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection has now been configured with its name and the password. I preferably like to have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz separate. You do not need to do this. I preferably do because I know what devices support the 5 gigahertz and which devices support 2.4. The 5 gigahertz is better, faster and more reliable. So, sync with 2.4? No. Give it a new name, BT Home Hub Slave 5GHZ. That's all I'm going to do and leave it the same password. Click yet, yeah, click apply, click yes. Once you greet back to this screen with your new name and your password, click WPS and turn that off. Apply. Yes settings applied. So now go to your firewall and UPnP turn off. 
apply. Changes have been applied. Now under the firewall configuration you also want to turn off the firewall. Don't worry, the firewall is still on on your other BT Home Hub. So once your firewall is turned off, applied, just go home and we are done. So now all you got to do, switch off the BT Home Hub. And once your BT Home Hub has configured, you'll need to get an Ethernet cable, connect it to your main network. You can see up, up there I have one below the other, which is all blurry. Grab yourself a phone and you can see there's the slave that we specified there. Now I've got two slaves, I've got one over there. Put your password in, that's it, you're done. You now have extended Wi-Fi from one point of the house to the other.